Here are the video solutions for Pearson Edexcel Functional Skills Maths Level 1. This is Section B, which is the calculator section, and this is the practice exam for first teaching September 2019. Okay, so um, we've been told that in July, Gemma is going to pay 5% more for her electricity. So if you are working out 5% of an amount, hopefully you would know to use the multiplier 0.05. This multiplier here is the decimal equivalent of 5%. It's this number here divided by 100. So if you're working out 5% of an amount, you would multiply by 0 0.05. Now, if you want to increase by 5%, you'd use this multiplier plus 1. In other words, you would use 1.05. So the calculation is £68 multiplied by 1.05, and that comes to £71 and 40 pence. So 71.40. Question number two, so complete the frequency column. So these um, tally marks here are in batches of five, so 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 43, 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 5, 10 plus 1 is 11. Part B, we want to draw a suitable graph for the information. So the biggest frequency is 43. So um, we just need to think about the scale here. So first of all, let's label the axes. So we've got a number of visits along the bottom. So number of visits. And here we've got frequency. So the number of visits was 1 to 5, 6 to 10. Eleven to fifteen and fifteen plus. Okay, so we need to think what numbers we put in here. If I put in uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, that won't work. We need to go up to at least well above forty-three. So if I go up in fives, that would work. I've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30, 35, 40, 45. Um, you, I mean, you could go up in tens, but then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, then you've got nothing to put in these uh, boxes at all, and we're just wasting a lot of um, available graph space. Okay, so um, what I would do here is draw a bar chart. So for the first one to five, it goes up to 10. So you could shade that in as well if you wanted to. Probably better if you used a ruler. 6 to 10 was 43. So here's 40. 43 is 2 below the 45. So again, definitely using a ruler would, in fact, there we go. That's a bit better. The uh, 11 to 15 was 22. So up to, there's 20, 21, 22. Same on the other side. And join those up. <clears throat> and 15 plus was 11. Um, I won't bother with the ruler for this one since it's um, not a massive distance. There's 10, so there is 11. Okay, there we go. And that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, so for this question, we want to work out the um, area where we're putting the flooring. So that is going to be the big rectangle minus the small rectangle. So the big is 15 times by nine, which is 135. The small rectangle, that is a, a four by three, which is 12. So the floored area is going to be 135 minus 12 which is 123 and that is square meters it's 36 pounds per square meter so it's 123 lots of 36 pounds and that comes to a total of four four two eight pounds okay question number four which shape is the plan view of the cylinder 
So remember, uh, the plan view is the view from above, and if we're looking from above at a cylinder, we are just seeing a circle, so that is shape one. The front view of the triangular prism, this is the triangular prism here. It's a triangle all the way through. Um, so if we're looking at this from the front, then all we will see is this triangle here, and that is shape four. The triangular based prism has how many faces, edges, and vertices? Okay, so um, this is the triangular based pyramid. Do not confuse it with the triangular prism. So we can see it's got um, one, two, three, four faces. How many edges has it got? Well, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six edges. And how many vertices? The vertices uh, are the pointy bits, so one, two, three, and a fourth one at the back there. Okay, so question number five. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work out um, what the total sales were for quarter one. So we've got 160, 60, 150. So that is 160 plus 60 plus 150, which is uh, 370. Quarter two, 90, 30, 10. 90 plus 30 plus 10, which is 130. So that's quarter one. This is uh, quarter two. Sorry, I thought I could um, write a bit smaller, but I'm struggling to do that. So quarter three is uh, 40, 50, 140. 40 plus 50 plus 140 and that comes to uh, 230. And for quarter four, it's uh, 70, 90, 140. And that is 300, and that's quarter four. <clears throat> so to put this into a suitable table, then I would have here my quarter number so one, two, three, four, um, and then I would have, um, what was it we were actually measuring? Total, oh, total sales, total monthly sales, or just total sales, because um, it's the total sales for the quarter, so uh, I, well, probably would be uh, a mistake to put monthly there. Um, so it was 370, and maybe say that this is in pounds, so 370, 130, 230, 300. And if you want, you can turn that into a nice uh, table if you want using uh, using a ruler, of course, and maybe put some horizontal lines in between each row. So that would be perfect. Okay, so we need to complete the parallelogram. So um, A is to B what um, D is to C. Um, that probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So now to go from B to A, I'm going down three and left one. So I'm going to do the same from C. So down three and left one, we'll call that point D. And there is my parallelogram. Again, use the ruler, be much um, more accurate. How many, uh, so we need to draw all the lines of symmetry on, a pen, on this pentagon. So if you go from one point to halfway through the other side, that's one line of symmetry. And we can do that the same from every point. So there will be a total of five lines of symmetry. Done. Here is a regular hexagon. What type of angle is angle X? Uh, well, we can see that it, this is a right angle. It's more than a right angle. So if it's bigger than a right angle, it will be um, an obtuse angle. It's an obtuse angle because it's between 90 and 180. If it was greater than 180, it would be reflex, but it's not reflex, it is obtuse. Okay, Karen is making a birthday cake and it's going to be uh, triangular with one side length 10 centimeters. Okay, so if this is two centimeters, then um, 10 centimeters would be two, four, six, eight, ten. The other side length is 12 and with a 90 degree angle. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And there we go. So this is the top of the cake, but we'd need to draw a line to turn it into 
and the triangle like so. Okay, so for um, this question, so we've got public services, which is 46%. We've got maths. So now, the best thing to do is to turn all of these into percentages. To turn a fraction into percentage, it's a top divided by bottom times by 100. And 14 divided by 25 multiplied by 100 comes to 56%. I'm going to do exactly the same for English, which is 13 divided by 20 times by 100, so that is 65%. And art and design, um, you might just know that 6 out of 10 is the same as 60 out of 100, so 60%. Otherwise, just do 6 divided by 10 multiplied by 100. So we're comparing the results. We want the best to the worst. So this is uh, best, second best, third best, fourth best. So English, then art, maths, and public services. One, two, three, four. Perfect, and we are done. Okay, write 3 out of 60 as a fraction in its simplest form. Well, both 3 and 60 can be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 60 divided by 3 is 20, so 1 over 20. Next part is, what is the probability that the dancer raised less than £10? Well, less than £10 is 15 plus 23 and 15 plus 23 is 38 so that is 38 out of 60 and this fraction can be simplified we've got even numbers top and bottom so divide top and bottom by 2 get 19 over 30 although the mark scheme just says 38 over 60 I'm surprised they've not simplified it but um, I'm sure 19 over 30 would be accepted as to be honest it's a better answer Question number nine, um, so we know that Joanne's foot length is 27.5, so let's convert that into um, European, so follow the formula. It's the length in centimetres divided by 2.5, and that turns it into inches, so that is 11 inches. And now to convert inches into the European, we do 11 times by three, which is 33. And then finally, 33 plus eight, which is 41. Joanne thinks a European shoe size is 38. Is Joanne correct? No, she is size 41. 